Hello, everybody, and welcome to our week seven overview. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to week seven. This week, we will be discussing sensation, perception, and motor development in infants and toddlers. So obviously, you have found the week seven overview. That is what you are watching currently. For research, you will be reading chapter six in our uh, infant textbook or infancy textbook, as well as these three articles delving more into sensory processing disorders, how that affects behavior, um, what sensory, how preterm birth can affect sensory processing disorders, um, and as well as uh, child rearing practices in Tajikistan. So then we also have our mini lecture as always, and our discussion for this week is a midpoint reflection. So it is an opportunity for you to look back on any challenges um, or any engaging content that has occurred thus far, um, as well as checking in on seeing how, if you've encountered any new study habits and things like that in order to facilitate your success in our program. And then finally, we have our synthesis matrix. Um, this is another scaffolding process for that midterm, which is our literature review. So here is a little background on what a synthesis matrix is. Um, and your task is to create a synthesis matrix for your literature review um, that includes at least 10 sources. Um, and then here I have a example um, as well as a template. So if it'll load, yep. So here's our template where you write the sources in APA format typically um, up here. And then here you write the key ideas that you want to include in your paper. And then if the source has something to support that key idea, you write it in the little boxes. And if it doesn't have something to support that key idea, you can just put an X, leave it blank. Um, but here is an example to give you a better picture of what this should look like. So we have our in-text citations up on the top, and then we have our key ideas here and then we have anything that is supports that key idea um, this can be either like copy pasted quote in quotation marks or if it's synthesized or summarized in your own words there does not need to be quotation marks i do recommend summarizing it in your own words um, so that there is less of a likelihood to plagiarize uh, however in this example it doesn't show that so that is all for this week. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just want to chat, please let me know. Um, as always, I am here to support you and your learning and your success. So please let me know if there's anything that I can support you with. I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of their week and I will see everybody in two weeks actually because we have our midterm and then we have spring break. And then we pick back up during week 10. Um, so yeah, that is all.